Hello, today's video is on our new panel meter 33991ME. Uh, it's a voltage meter with a upper and lower alarm settings, which is uh, kind of a nice feature. Uh, when we just started making this video, the uh, manufacturer gave us a revision, so it is slightly different than if you bought one before August 2018. Uh, it's easy to tell by just turning it over and uh, looking at the back and seeing where the sun alert is. Sun alert's in the far right corner. You got the newer version. Uh, it's essentially the same as the older one with a few minor improvements, better voltage alarm setting control. Uh, it comes in, works from four and a half to 50 volts DC coming through the power cord. Um, red's positive, black's negative. Uh, there's comes in through the power connector. There are two connect, two push buttons on the back, uh, plus and minus. This is how you will set your alarm settings. So let's first set the upper limit. You would uh, press the plus button, press and hold. It comes factory set at 50 volts. You press and hold till it flashes, and then you can hit the minus button to lower the uh, the setting to about. Oh, let's let's set it to 15 volts. That's about. Where you, where you would want it for a 12 volt lead acid battery. Make sure you don't overcharge it. As soon as it stops flashing, it's showing the actual measure voltage. Well, let's set the lower setting with the, the minus button. Uh, you would uh, press and hold the minus button. It comes factory set at 3.6 volts. Hold it till it flashes. Then you can hit the plus button to raise the lower limit to, let's make it 11.2 volts. And that's a good lower set. Okay, and as soon as it stops flashing, it, it's it's actually measuring the voltage. I have this hooked up to my benchtop power supply so we can simulate the battery drain. Uh, let's turn the voltage up and let's check the over over range setting. And as soon as we hit 15 volts, it should start flashing and beeping. Now, once it starts flashing and beeping, there's nothing you can do until it uh, drops back below 15 volts. It's just simply just going to keep sounding the alarm. So as we lower the voltage, as you see it stops flashing and beeping once it gets below 15 volts. Now let's go ahead and, and lower the voltage. I'm going to turn down my benchtop power supply just to simulate the battery drain. And as soon as we get to our lower setting of 11.2, you should see it start flashing and beeping. And there again, there's afraid nothing you can do to uh, turn off the alarm until it raises above 11.3. But it works all the way down to 4.5 volts, so let's just try turning it down here. And And once you get below that, the meter just kind of fizzles out. Let's turn it up a little bit there. Uh, there we go. Oh. And it will stop beeping as soon as we get back to our lower set point of 11.2 volts. Okay, there you go. That's as uh, easy as you can get. Uh, easy to program. Buttons in the back. Sun alert. Be nice to it a little, a little louder. And it uh, keeps the memory settings uh, after it's been plugged in. Oh, one last thing. It uh, fits in a cutout of about uh, 45.5 to it by 26 millimeter square cutout. And it has two little uh, snaps to hold it in place. Thank you for watching.